what's going on everybody so we got a short one today hopefully it should just be a simple thing it's wet down here i'm walking through my overgrown field to my backyard tree stand gotta do a little corn feeder repair my timer crapped out on me so i'm gonna throw a new one on so i'm at the back corner of my property and this is where i've got my feeder and my stand set up i don't know if you can see it over there up on that sweet gum yeah this is just a ancient homemade tripod feeder that is somehow still standing It's chilly today. I should have gotten my butt out of bed and been up in the stand, but got too much other stuff to do and frankly I didn't want to get up. I'll pop the battery out. And see how this thing's attached. Alright, with it cloudy out, this lighting's probably not great, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I have no idea how this thing is attached. That's how. There's two of these little screws on the front of this. Boy, my fingers are cold. So they had these on shelf, the old style. When they had this updated design, I went ahead and got the updated one. I like the interface a little better. Both designs had the same wiring. Uh, the two alligator clips for the battery and the uh, connector there for the motor. Alrighty. I was expecting this to be plug and play, but I should have known better. So I'm going to cut, you got two sets of wires, in, well three if you count the battery connections, but thicker red and black to the motor and a smaller gauge red and black to the solar. I got a little solar charging port up here if you want to hook that up. I don't plan on using it. So. I'm just going to pull these out of the way. Super sticky. down so now we got this little wiring harness that I somehow missed when I first opened the pack. I'm gonna take a little more of that off. to red <laughs> I 
Dang it. Thank you. Oh, these wire nuts. Especially with these being relatively exposed. I like to take a little bit of tape. Then green to black. Boy, my fingers are not working. There it is. Okay, great. Sorry for the sniffing. It's a lot colder than they said it was going to be today. It feels like it at least. And I'll give that a wrap too. Okay. So, uh, tuck that back up in there. Now these wires are coming out the bottom, so that's not gonna work going through that little hole. So that side's in. Handle cheese harder than this metal. Already rounded out that head. There we go. Get out of there. I'm gonna put the old one back in. The screwdriver is also a little too big. I don't know what happened to my little one. But I wasn't gonna take however long to find it. There we go. Old screw is better screw. Now I got a little, little pigtail hanging off there. Green to green, white to white. Click. Cool, that reaches. Slide the old battery back in there. Sit down on the tray, please. And we have power. Crap. That's better. I don't know if you can see the screen there, but we're powered up. Let's get this thing set. All right, so program current time it's 
Okay, just have to arrow over to it. That's set. Feet remaining. I think I've got about 25 pounds left in there. I'm just kind of figuring this out as I go. I'm sure there's instructions in here. Okay, just arrow over to it. No. I want duration. There we go. Five. Yay. Okay, now that's... There we go. Okay, timer two. And arrows down to the time. I've only been running this thing twice a day. Do I want? Yeah, I think I had it at 4.30. I try to get them early morning and at dusk because that's when I'm able to get out here. So program that to five. And then that's all I want. So I'll go through zero, 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 zero. Good grief. All right, so you got. Many different settings on here. Back, all right, I think we're good. Um, how do I test it? Um, I'm gonna stand back now, okay, test. Test. No. Four second. Okay, I'm missing something on that test. But... There we go, countdown. Cool. We're good to go. I don't know if I have as much feed in there as I thought, but that's all right. Success. All right, so that's how you replace one of those. Uh, if your timer's crapped out like mine did, you can go to, I don't know, I think they have these all over the place, but it's the universal digital timer. Ugh, sorry. This is the updated design, but from what I saw, they do still have that. This old style available if you do prefer that. Not too bad of a replacement. Not plug and play like I thought, but a couple wires, plug it in, mount it up, good to go. Hopefully this helps you keep your feeder in action and good luck the rest of the season. Catch you in the next upload.